The free movement of workers is a cornerstone of the European Union. Many EU citizens go to other countries for a job. Both employees and employers benefit. Workers travel to places where employers need their skills. What are the facts and figures of migrant and posted workers? The number of migrant workers has grown. Today, about 7 million Europeans work in another member state. That's 3.3% of the total European labour force. At the beginning of the EU, labour migration flows were mainly from south to north. Nowadays, the main flow is east-west. EU legislation states that the rules of the country where the work is carried out prevail. Labour conditions of national and migrant workers are the same, including wages and social security remittance. Posted workers form another category. For this group, the rules are different. Posted workers are sent by an employer in one state to work temporarily in another state. About 1.2 million employees in the EU are posted workers, less than 1% of the total EU labour force. The number of postings is growing significantly. In the past decade, postings have almost doubled. Most countries send and receive posted workers. The main sending state is Poland followed by Germany and France. The main receiving state is Germany, followed by France and Belgium. Posted work concentrates in few sectors. 67% of posted employees work in industry, predominantly in the construction sector, and 32% in services. Employers of posted workers can provide services at a lower price. This is a logical result of European legislation. This is because posted workers remain under the social security system of their home country. As a consequence, in some cases, employers of posted workers pay less tax and social security contributions than they pay for local workers. In most cases, posted workers are treated decently. But this is not always the case. Sometimes they encounter wages below legal minimum, excessive working hours, poor housing, bad working conditions. The rights of posted workers must be secured too. This is essential to reap the full benefits of mobile work in the European Union.